Over the last few decades, community attitudes towards water have changed dramatically. Victorians are now more sensitive to the effects of too little or too much water. End users, suppliers and consumers have all embraced change through water use behaviour, water saving devices and some reuse projects. At the same time, billions of dollars has been spent attempting to build in water supply security including dams, pipelines and desalination to augment supply. But our water system is highly dependent on the external environment. Our cities will be vulnerable to start changes and an end state where we could end up having too little or too much. The Office of Living Victoria was established because the Victorian Government recognises there is a better way. It's time we started thinking about the whole water cycle. We can significantly improve the security of Victoria's water cycle if we take full advantage of water sources within our urban catchment. These include rainwater, stormwater and recycled wastewater. Hi, I'm Peter Walsh, Minister for Water. The Victorian Government recognises the community expects its leaders to meet critical issues like the urban water cycle head on. And we are. We know this is a big challenge, but we expect everyone to play their part. Make no mistake, the government is committed to this reform. This is why we established the Office of Living Victoria, to lead our state, the water industry, the private sector and the community through the change, and we have committed $50 million to the Living Victoria Fund. The Living Victoria Fund will help drive tangible change and significantly improve the security, resilience and flexibility of our water system. The fund will support projects across the state. The Office of Living Victoria will partner with organisations undertaking these projects to drive and implement innovation in integrated water cycle management. To lead this important process of change, we are now looking for transformative projects from local councils, sporting groups, community organisations, education institutions and industry stakeholders. Expressions of interest must be innovative and improve the way our urban environment and water systems are designed and managed. The Living Victoria Fund is a key initiative of Living Melbourne, Living Victoria Policy. For more details and an application pack, please visit the OLV website www.olv.vic.gov.au The reform process is a significant shift from traditional thinking and I know it will take time. I look forward to your input, involvement and support as we take on this critical challenge together.